and it just looks gross. Smells like soap, looks like soap, is soap. Sorry, what? I put instant tan on my hands because it was like one of those days where, you know, just like as you wash your hands throughout the week, your tan just goes really quickly. But the instant tan is quite a lot darker than the rest of me. But this is gonna be my last video before Christmas. I know that originally I was gonna do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Didn't manage to get one done for Friday because I had a last minute house viewing. Then I went into town to do some Christmas shopping. But I hope that's okay with you guys. Still got five videos out before Christmas. Um, and yeah, I mean, I hope you all have a lovely Christmas. I am about to play with some new makeup. I did put out a little poll on my Instagram last week, I think it was, on which eyeshadow palette I should use for a future testing video. Um, and it was between this one and a Ciate one. You guys have gone for the Rude Cosmetics Roaring Twenties Reckless palette, which looks like this. I'm gonna do a little green, festive -y sort of look today. I've also got a bunch of other new makeup to test. I've got the Magnetic Liner and Lashes to test, which looks like the weirdest thing in the world and I can't imagine this will work, but we'll give it a try. I styled my hair today with my new Dyson Air Wrap. The only thing that I have found is that the curls do drop quite quickly. Yesterday, by the end of the day, the curls had pretty much like dropped out. So if anyone has any recommendations for, um, you know, how to make curls last longer with the Air Wrap and you've got it, please let me know. But to get my face out of my hair today, Wait, no, that's the wrong way around. <laughs> to get my hair out of my face today, I've got a selection of Christmas uh, hair bands. I think I'm gonna go for the antlers because I mean, let's face it, when am I ever gonna wear these again? I think I got sent these from Claire's last year. So I'm starting off with a primer. This is the Smashbox Oil and Shine Control Photo Finish Primer because some oil and shine control would be great right now. Ooh, I thought this Smashbox primer was gonna be like one of the silicone ones, but it's actually more of a gel, which I really like. I do love a gel primer. The color difference, the color difference between my hands. Oh my God, this feels so nice. Oh my gosh, it feels really smoothing. It does sink in very, very quickly though. My skin feels so soft. For foundation, I've got the Gosh Dextream foundation, which says it's full coverage. I've got the shade 002. This on the back of it says that it's made up of plastic bags from the sea. So 40% of the packaging is made from 10 plastic bags, which I think is really cool. I did buy Molly May's tan, Molly May, um, who was on Love Island. I bought her tan the other day, thinking that it would be quite a good video idea, but since then I've seen like 10 people do that video. So please let me know if you guys wanna see that or not, um, cause I can still do it, but I think it's already been done. Um, okay, wow, this is, definitely too light for me. I'm gonna mix in a bit of this one, which is the shade 008, but if I kind of use it as a mixing, oh no, I can just tell this is gonna go so wrong. Oh wow, okay, that looks nice. Nice, I like the coverage. I think I've got that color, color match pretty good. Maybe not on my forehead. This looks like it could be a little bit too dark. I think I've definitely used a little bit too much foundation though because I did not really need that much. Let's try lighting up with a little bit of concealer. This is also by Gosh and this is the high coverage concealer. I'm gonna go for the shade 003 Sand. Whoa, the doe foot is nearly the same size as the bottle. Why do I always smell everything? Ooh, wow, I love that applicator. It puts on a really nice amount of product. Okay, right, let's try and lighten up this forehead a bit because I've definitely gone a bit overboard. But that foundation did a really good job at covering. Oh, okay. Why do I make so many abnormal noises when I'm doing my makeup? Well, this is definitely a very full coverage base that I've got going on right now. I really like the foundation and concealer. I'm just going in with my Nabla Loose Powder, which is from Beauty Bay. Oh. Ooh, that's in my eye <laughs> and my mouth. I've just realized the jingling from my headband is probably really annoying. So I have this from Gosh, which says that it's one of their blushes in the zero, in the, in the zero, in the shade 004 Crush. But to me, that looks like a bronzer. Well, for my skin tone anyway, although it quite clearly says imprinted into it, I'm blushing. That's nice. Then for blush, I've only just realized that I've done this and I've been a massive idiot. I meant to not powder my face. Why do I do this every time? It's because I'm so used 
to having powder blush. This is the I Iconic London Cream Blush. These are called the Sheer Blushes. This is in the shade Cheeky Coral and it's like a liquid blush. Um, and I did swatch it on my hand and the formula is very, very thin. So maybe it will just about work on top of makeup. We can only hope and pray. So I'm gonna dip my blush brush into this and kind of sheer it out on my hand. And then we will go in with this on the cheeks. Yeah, I guess the only thing that I did notice is that it's quite a pale shade and the actual colours that they had were quite pale. There wasn't really one that would be like the regular sort of blush shade that I use. It hasn't actually broken up the texture of my foundation or anything, which is unusual. Um, so you need to use quite a lot because it is very sheer if you want it to actually show up. I had to use quite a big blob for one cheek. If you use your fingers, you might get more product per cheek. Oh no, this one is breaking up my foundation. Why did this side work so perfectly and this side didn't? I think I just used too much product. Um, okay, maybe do this before your powder. <laughs> I'm just gonna contour my nose with my Benefit Cheek Ladies palette. Hula, hula. <laughs> if you have no idea what I'm doing, please go and watch my boyfriend does my voiceover. And I'm also just taking the shade Cookie from this as well as my highlight because I don't have a new highlighter, unfortunately. One sec, I've just gotta grab something before I do my brows because I need a setting spray. This next part really excites me. I got sent this, which is Soap Brows. I think this was from Beauty Bay and this is by the brand WBCO. It's actually just a little pot of soap. So if they're selling this for quite a lot of money, it's probably a scam because it smells like soap, looks like soap, is soap in a tin. Spray a little bit of setting spray into the soap. This is just the Urban Decay All Nighter Summer Solstice one. And then you want to rub your, that went in my eye. Rub your spoolie in here. Ew, this looks gross. And then you just brush this through your brows. I don't know if I've done this wrong because mine has gone all white. Oh God, what have I done? Why is it that everyone that I've seen use this on Instagram, their brows do not go white like mine? Wow, it really makes them like stand up though and go the right the way that you want them to. Uh, I'm not the biggest fan of that. Um, I think if you were to do this, you'd have to do your foundation second. It just all round doesn't look great. <laughs> I'm gonna use a little bit of brow pencil to just fill them out a bit more. Oh no, I really do not like this. It's glued my eyebrows to my face. They are gray. This is just not drawing on top of the soap, is it? And it just looks gross. Right now, it really just looks like my eyebrows have got a really bad case of dandruff, which is um not really the look that I'm going for this Christmas. What, what is this? What is this? I hate it, I hate it so much. Right, anyway, moving on to the eyeshadow. I've got a few of these, which are by Beauty Bay, which are their liquid glittery eyeshadows. I think I might have to go for this gold one. I do have a green. But this green does not really go with the greens in this. Oh, does it? It kind of does. That is really nice. But the gold one, which is called Pirate. Pyrite? Pyrite. Oh my God, it's like straight up gold glitter. Let's start with the darkest green, which is called Hot Dog. I'm starting with the darkest one and then I'll work my way out with the lighter ones. Wow. I was not expecting that to be so pigmented because normally dark greens are like really problematic and they don't blend very well. They're not very pigmented. They're usually quite patchy. <laughs> that just went on like, hello, Merry Christmas. I'm then gonna take the shade Mojo, which is this one. And I'm just gonna use that to kind of blend out the edges, I guess. Not that it really needs it because the edges blended really nicely, but add a little bit more of an olivey green. Oh, okay, actually I look like the Grinch. There is part of me that's really tempted to just put that all over my face and do like a Grinch makeup tutorial. Wow, okay, considering that most of the greens that I've used before have been a little bit problematic, I'm actually really impressed with how those have blended and gone on. Also, I did all of that with one brush. I'm gonna take those same green shades just onto my lower lash line to make things a little bit more even. So I'm taking Mojo first. I'm actually gonna watch The Grinch later. This has inspired me. Fun fact. James actually asked me to be his girlfriend last year when we were watching The Grinch. And that was the first time that I'd ever seen it. Then I'm taking Hot Dog. There are two kind of green, oh my God, this shade here, I thought that was green, but you turn it and it goes purple. Well, I was gonna say there's two green shimmers in here. There's On The Ritz, like putting on the Ritz. And then there's Cut A Rug. <gasps> 
Oh. It's blue and purple in one light. You see that? And then it's green. And then cut a rug is that one next to it. But holy shit, that on the rich shade is one of the most beautiful eyeshadows I think I've ever seen. So that is going straight on my eyelids. That's going, oh, oh my God. I just heard my own stomach rumble. Oh my God. And it applies well with a brush. That is one of the most beautiful eyeshadows I've ever seen. It almost looks wet on my eyelid. Is this an actual joke? And can we just appreciate that there has been no fallout on my face? You need the tiniest bit. Take some of that on my lower lash line as well. And then just gonna go in with cut a rug on the center of my eyes. This palette is $22. Okay, in the UK, they sell this brand at Boots, but I can't find the palette in Boots. I'm actually amazed. We don't even need those Beauty Bay, like, glitters over the top, because I think this is enough by itself. I'm going to take the Beauty Bay liquid eyeshadow and put this on my inner corners. Oh my god. Oh my god, that is also stunning. It's actually, like, straight up glitter. Wow. I'm gonna take a tiny bit of that on the back of my hand and just add a little bit over the top because I just can't resist it because this is, looks beautiful. Just gonna add a little bit of extra sparkle. I actually think this is one of my favorite looks that I've ever done. Can we just take a second to appreciate this eyeshadow? For my lips, I've got this, which is from Doll Beauty. This is their lipstick in the shade Golden Girl. This looks like it might need a lip liner because that is very pale. I'm gonna take this first, which is the Maybelline Superstay Ink Crayon in the shade 15, lead the way. And then I'm taking the Doll Beauty one in the middle. Oh wow, yeah, okay, that's very, 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 very nude. I'm gonna use the Miraness Magnetic Liner Lash Kit. Easy to apply, quick and reusable. You line your eyes and then click on the lashes. You get two different pairs in here, one that's slightly less dramatic and one that's slightly more dramatic. You get the liner and then you get a liner remover. Ooh, okay, it looks kind of sticky. It's very thick and I'm trying to do quite a thick line. I don't really need to do a wing. You know what, I'm not. I'm not gonna do a wing with this because I have a feeling it's gonna remain a little bit sticky. It's kind of tricky to work with because it is such a sticky kind of liner. I'm gonna do a standard wing with my Balm Schwing liner. I'm then taking the Gosh Rebel Eyes Skinny Bee Mascara and then I'm gonna wait for that to dry, I guess, and then try sticking on these lashes. Oh my God, that's a very skinny wand. Okay, from what I can see right now, this is not doing a whole lot for my lashes. But if you like a skinny wand, it's good for that, but it's not giving me much length or volume. You know what, I give up on my lower lashes. I'm taking my Maybelline falsies. I think I do need to trim them slightly. I'm just gonna trim off one section of magnet. I guess, let me just try and stick. <gasps> Sorry, what? What? Did you see that? That's just stuck on. Why was that the easiest thing in the whole world? I'm gonna do the other side now. The only thing is you can't really trim like a tiny bit off. You have to chip, trim off one of the magnets. I am actually so shocked. Look, they just stuck on and then they just peel off because they're magnetic. Let's see if I can do that again. Oh, not in the right place. It's hard without a mirror, but like... Huh? <laughs> what? I want to try the more dramatic style, because I guess like these aren't doing too much for my lashes. Right, let's peel those off carefully. Okay, these are huge! Wow. I am absolutely amazed. I thought this was going to be the biggest gimmick in the world, but that's actually stuck to my eye. Oh, okay, it's kind of hard to maneuver them with tweezers because tweezers are also magnetic. This headband is actually really uncomfortable now. But I am in love with this eyeshadow palette. This is the best thing out of the video. Like, I am honestly amazed that this is so affordable because that was stunning. Actually, everything that I've used, I am super impressed with. I am honestly amazed with these lashes. Like, what? 
who invented that? Whoever did that, they're a genius. Look, see, I've been filming for like an hour and a half and my hair's already dropped. And I did put hairspray in it as well. Today's question comes from Simply JK and they have said, what's your favorite Christmas movie? Um, I think my favorite Christmas movies are- Sorry, I don't know that one. Alexa, I'm not talking to you. Okay, sorry. Love Actually, Elf, The Nightmare Before Christmas, if that counts as a Christmas film, I think it's more of a Halloween film. Home Alone, oh, I just love them all. I love them all. Right, I'm gonna go now. I hope you guys have an amazing Christmas and I will see you in my next video. Bye.